If you've seen units like this, then you've probably seen connections like this. And if you've worked on those units, then you know just how easy those connections are to split. But with the proper tool, you can make that connection every single time without splitting it. So let me show you how to use a torque wrench. Now the first thing you want to do is take off these two nuts. If you skip that step, you're going to have a really bad day. Now you're going to take your copper line set and you're going to cut off whatever length you need. Right now this is just a mock-up of scrap copper, which I don't really care about. You're also going to need a reaming tool. You're going to make this pipe nice and smooth on the end. Go ahead and ream it out and make sure that all the shavings go into the ground. Like I said, this is scrap copper. I don't really care about it. Once that is complete, you're going to take your two nuts and you're going to slide it over onto the copper. Do not skip this step because it will force you to do it. Now you're going to make your flare fittings on your copper line set using either an orbital flare tool or the spin tool. I just happen to have this handy, so we're going to use this today. Be careful, it does get really hot. Now these are the flare fittings that you do not want to crack. Once you have your flare fittings all set, wrestle them over and get them in place. This is the Black Max Torque Wrench. It is a digital torque wrench that will beep and vibrate when you get to the set point that you set it to. It has pound foot, pound inch, and stuff for the rest of the world. My favorite part about this wrench is actually the case. The case will actually tell you what torque spec you have for what pipe size you're working on. So today we're working on quarter inch outside diameter and half inch outside diameter. And I'm gonna go by pound foot of torque. So for quarter inch, I have 14 foot pounds of torque. And for half inch, I am at 40 foot pounds of torque. Let me turn it on and show you what I mean. Light makes it a little better. So if I come over here and I hit plus, I'm already set at 40, but I wanna go through it. 48. 59, 62.7, all the way back to 14. Now I can use my 14 for my quarter inch, and I can go to 40 for my half inch. Let's start off with actually the bottom one. So we're gonna do the bigger one first. Ah, sometimes you mess up. There we go, 40. So we're gonna set the big one first, and then we're gonna come back and set the small one. So one little trick before you get started, take either nylog, or a little bit of vacuum pump oil and just put it right there. Try not to get it in. It won't hurt it if it does, but just get it right there on the rim where the flare is gonna sit. That'll give it just a little bit of extra seal. Take your lines, bend them over. Should already have that part taken care of. I don't have anything holding it for me. So I'm gonna take my flare, set it right on there, as perfect as I can. I'm going to hand tighten the nut try and sit it while I am holding pressure off of that flare to just, I just want to keep it straight. That is my goal. All right, there it is. Hand tight. Same thing with the top. Come on. Kind of bend it a little bit more. There we go. And just, there we go. Thread it on, hand tight. There we go. All right, take a normal crescent wrench, tighten it up until it gets, I don't know, crescent wrench tight. You're not gonna hit 40 foot pounds of torque with this crescent wrench, just doing this. Trust me, you're not gonna hit it. All right, that's tight enough. This one, you just kinda go by feel. Just don't go too crazy, tighten it up a little bit. You want to get it to where that torque wrench is going to be that last little push. And I tell you what, the little ones are always just a little more difficult to get right. Okay, let's call that crescent wrench tight. I flipped it around so you can see the screen better. Alright, let's get this knife a little bit further. That is seven foot pounds. Let's try again. It is eight. Yeah, I really wanted to do the final twist with the torque wrench. 
Remember, we got a crescent wrench type. Twenty, three, thirty. Okay. Reset. Uh, come on. One more time. All right. Watch it go. Thirty-five, thirty-six. There we go. That's the beeping. That is the vibration to make you feel that you finally got to where you were going. All right, we're gonna do the same thing with this one. 14. Good to go. Now those are properly torqued flare fittings. So what happens if you over tighten and split the flare fitting? Let's do it. Okay, that might be split. Let's find out. You know what? It's a lot harder when this thing's not mounted to the ground. So what do you do if you over tighten it and split the copper? Well, you gotta cut it out. But let me show you a trick with your copper cutter that's gonna save you some time. So inside your copper cutter, you have your cutting blade, of course, and you have your rollers. Inside your rollers, you have two notches. These notches are not for oil draining out in case something happens or relief for the pipe or whatever. These two are for cutting extremely close to flare fittings instead of having to put it all the way out here and losing like half an inch of copper pipe. You can just take it, just take it, put it super close close as possible. That'll keep you from losing a lot of copper on your cut. Here, that's all you had to do. You only had to take off a little bit. Now you don't have to try and pull extra copper to come to you. You basically had that much to make up anyway. Once you get that done, now you're at the point of just bending the copper down, reaming it out again. Flaring it with your favorite tool. There you go. New flare fitting. Ready to torque down again and hopefully you don't mess it up this time. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about how to use the torque wrench. You can find this particular one at pretty much any Johnstone. And I have an announcement. The new quick reference cards are now on the shop. It's changed a little bit. All the information is still the same that you're used to, but now it has R32 and R454B on the back on the PG chart so that if you come across anything and you need it, it is right there in your pocket. Plus, I now have hats ready for the summer. I make them all in-house, so if you would like to get any of this, please head on down to the description below. It's over on the Etsy store and use code YouTube for 15% off of everything. Until next time, y'all have a good one.